Jesus died upon the cross. I tell you, I know it was the blood for me. Well, come a new belt, though. I know it was the blood. Put your hands together. Come on. I know it was the blood. I did. I know it was the blood for me. Well, one day when I, when I was lost, Jesus died. Upon that old oh, rugged cross, yeah, I, I know, know it, it was the blood for me. Well, don't you know they pierced him in his side? Oh, yeah. Uh, they pierced him in his side. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they pierced him in his side for me. Well, well, one day, one day. I was lost, Jesus died upon that old rugged cross. I know it was the blood for me. Amen. As we prepare our hearts for this Holy Communion, we ask that we examine our hearts right now in the name of Jesus. And if we have any unconfessed sins, we confess them now in the name of Jesus. They say back in the days when they drunk the wine with sin in their heart, they dropped dead. So we ask that you now that you can confess your sins before God, we're going to ask the minister where bless the table. Father God, we come before you once again, Lord God, as we prepare to eat and drink of your table, Lord. Father, right now we just ask, Lord, that if there be anything in our hearts and our mind, Lord, that should not be, bring it to remembrance, Lord, that we may ask for forgiveness, Lord, and turn away from that sin, Lord. Cleanse us up, Lord. Purify our hearts and our minds, Lord that we don't drink damnation into our souls. God, we love you, and we can't do anything without you. Father, we just pray that you just continue to walk with us and keep us as we walk this Christian journey. Give us the strength that we need, Lord, to be faithful unto you. Lord God, all these things we ask and we pray in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This, it is said on, on that night he took bread and broke it, so this is my body that was broken for thee. Likewise, he took the wine and he poured it in the Glass and said, This is my blood that was shed for thee for the remission of sin. Uh, one day, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon that old rugged cross. I know it was the blood for me. Well, they whipped him all night long. Uh, they whipped him all night long. Church, they whipped him all night long for me. Well, one day, one day, when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. You know that I know it was the blood for me. Well, he never said a mumbling word. Oh, yeah. He never said a mumbling word. He never said a mumbling word for me. Well, one, one, day, Lord, one day, one day, when I was lost, Jesus died. Upon that old rugged cross, I know it was the blood for me. Well, don't you know, say the blood came streaming down. Mm, yeah. uh, the, the blood, blood came, came streaming, streaming down. down. I did the blood came streaming down for me. Well, one day, one day. Oh, rugged cross, I know it was the blood for me. Well, they tell me, church, that he hung his head and died. He hung his head and died. Glory, hallelujah, he hung his head and died. Oh, well, one day when I was lost, don't you 
know he died upon that old rugged cross. I know it, it was the blood for me. Well, don't you know he's coming back again? Yeah. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, oh Lord, what? So glad I knew it was the blood for me. Well, I said I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Has everyone been served? I know it was the blood for me. Three. One day when I go get you. Jesus died. You know that I know it who's the blood for me. Mm, don't you, don't you know he's coming back again? Yeah. He's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah. Said he's coming and back again for me. Well, oh, yeah, one day. Oh, Lord, you the die upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Well, say they whipped him all night long. They whipped him all night long. Church, they whipped him all night long for me. Well, one, one, one day. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon that old rugged cross. I know it was blood for me. Wait, don't you know I Let know come in. it Amen. was the blood. Oh, yeah. I know it was the blood. Church, I know it was the blood for me. One day, one day, I, I, down upon that old rugged cross, I know it was the blood on for me. Well, churchy, it never said a mama and word. He never said a mama and word. Oh, yeah. He never said a mama and word for me. Cross, I know who it was. Amen. Now let us eat together. Let us drink together. Amen. It's greeting time. Amen. Hook somebody next. Shake somebody hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Make sure you put those cups in the Ziploc bag, please. How many know you're overcomer? Come on, come on. How many know you're overcomer? Come on. I'm an overcomer.
Can you hear the sound of the righteous rising? Can you hear the sound of freedom? Oh, come on, come on and stand to your feet. Come on, come on. The curse of sin is broken. Christ has set us free. We have the victory. He gave us victory. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Blessed in the city, come on. If you're blessed, why don't you just wave your hand just like this here? Amen.
12 o'clock. In a row. In a row. In a row. Late in the midnight hour. Yeah, yeah. Turn around. How many believe that? In a row. In a row. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come, when we go. We got down every stronghold. One more time, late, late in the midnight hour. Late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn around. Right about midnight. He's gonna work your favor. Oh, how many believe that tonight? Late in the midnight hour. Right, God's gonna right before turn midnight. And around, and around, and around, and around. And around. Late. Late in the midnight hour. God's gonna turn around. He's gonna work your favor. It's all in your favor. It's all in your face. Late in the midnight hour. It don't matter what happened last night. And around. And around. And around. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed in the city. We are blessed in the field. We are blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sick and poverty must be. For the devil is defeated. We are blessed. Amen. You may be seated if you can. Amen. Just want to wake somebody up. Amen. Somebody got that sad look on your face. Just whatever you got on your mind, just let it go. Push your name and say, let it go. Amen. Late in the midnight hour. Amen. God going to turn that thing around. It going to work in your favor. Come on, somebody. How many believe it going to work in your favor? Amen. 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 Don't care what they say about it. What, they, what you hear on the news, amen, what they told you at the doctor's office, God still got you in his hand, amen, amen. The favor is on your life. At this time, we'll go right into, amen, our tithes and offering. Us that will come and give us directions. Father God, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Heavenly Father. Father God, we thank you for all the blessings that you provide for us each and every day, Heavenly Father. We thank you in advance for the blessings that you're going to provide for us tomorrow and the future, Father God. We thank you for that. Father God, we just thank you for traveling grace to bring us to your house just one more time, Heavenly Father, to praise and worship your holy name. Father God, we thank you for the musicians that are here this morning. We hope that their songs be blessed are to a blessing to your ears, Heavenly Father. Father God, we thank you for all those that are here this morning, Heavenly Father. We just ask that you continue to bless them in a mighty way, Father God. 
Father God, we just ask that you watch over our sick and our shut in Heavenly Father. Watch over those that have lost loved ones, Heavenly Father. Put your arms upon their shoulders and let them know that everything's going to be okay, Father God. Father God, we thank you for the trials and tribulations in our life, Father God. We know that there's a guiding light somewhere that's going to guide us in the right direction during these troubled times, Father God. We thank you in advance for everything that you're doing in our lives. Father God, we just ask that you, that you continue to lift up and guide this shepherd in this house, Heavenly Father. Bless him and his family in a mighty way, Heavenly Father. Continue to give him the wisdom, guidance, and direction. Father God, we just ask that you continue to lift up this church and guide this church. Father God, we thank you for this church. Father God, we just thank you for those that, are, that uh, brought their offering to you this morning, Heavenly Father. We just ask that you bless those, Heavenly Father. Bless those that wanted to give that weren't able to, Father God. We just ask all these blessings and thanks in your name, in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Can the church say amen? amen? Amen. We thank God for amen. Your giving and amen and your patience. Amen. Amen. Right before we read our scripture and then we'll come back with our next song. Amen. Be in prayer. Amen. For the Ashley family. You know, for those who may not know, Brother Ashley passed away on Thursday night. Amen. So be in prayer for the Ashley family and the funeral will be next Saturday at 10 a.m. right here in New Bethlehem. Amen. Amen. And be in prayer for the Wiggins family. Amen. Brother, Sister Wiggins lost their grandmother and cousin. Amen. So let's be in prayer for those who have lost their loved one. Amen. And just know that God is still able to give you peace and calmness in the midst of your storm. And long as you keep living, some storms going to come your way. Amen. But I thank God he's the master of every storm. Anybody know he's the master of every storm? Amen. Thank God for him. Amen. And, and also, we do have some Bucks tickets. Who have not, if you have not picked your book tickets up, please see uh, me at the church. Amen. God bless you. At this time, we ask that Minister Johnson would read us in our scripture, lead us in our scripture, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Amen. Good morning, church. Um, again, the scripture is Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Could you please stand in reference to God's holy word? Again, it's Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. And it reads, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We ask that the NBAs will come right now and Bless our hearts one more time. Amen. Amen. NBA. Put your hands together for the NBAs. Amen. As they come this way.
the house of praise. You deserve my praise. You deserve my praise. Awesome. Come on and give God some glory. Yeah. Come on and bless the Lord, somebody. Yes, he deserves our praise. Come on and give God some glory. Yeah. Come on and give God. Come on and give God some glory. He deserves our praise. Yes, Walk us up this morning. You still got your job. Yes, he deserves our praise. How many know He deserves our? You deserve my praise. You deserve my praise. That's all right, somebody. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh huh. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right, somebody. Amen. You deserve it. Uh, come on, give God some glory. Come on and bless the Lord, somebody. Amen and amen. And you got to learn how to praise God in spite of whatever you're going through. Amen. You deserve our praise. Amen. God is able. Amen. To do what He said He would do. Ushers may be seated and we thank God for our ushers, amen, amen, and he, he deserves our praise, amen. You never get to the point in your life when you think you can't praise God anymore, amen. He deserves our praise, amen. He deserves our praise. First, giving honor to God, to these great preachers and deacons and deaconess, and to all of you, my Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, amen. We thank God for this opportunity on this first Sunday, amen, in September to, amen, to speak on Jesus' behalf, amen. God bless you, amen. We're not going to hold you long. If you will, go back to Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. It says, let this mind be in you. Somebody say you. you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Church, just for a few moments, ask God to give power. We want to speak from this thought, duplicating the master copy. Duplicating the master copy. Duplicating the master copy. Duplicating the master copy. Let us pray. Eternal God, we come just to say thanks, God, for being the God that you are. Realizing God is nothing we've done so great. You're God all by yourself. So, God, we come to just to say thank you. For all you have done for us. Didn't have to do it, God, but somehow you do it every day. Even though we don't deserve what you give to us, but you keep blessing us anyhow. God, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Realize, God, last night we laid down the sleep not knowing that this morning we will see a new day. But because of who you are, you allow us to see another day. Realizing that somebody didn't wake up today. But because of your favor you had laid on our lives, you spared our life one more day that we may give you the honor and the glory. God, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. God, we thank you for the saints who thought in that robbery to come out this morning to fellowship with you, God. We ask God now that you will move in a miraculous way. We pray that your word will go forth and touch them by the heart and that their life will be changed through your word, God. We ask God that you hide me behind the old rugged cross so when they look their way, they don't see me, they see you. We ask God that you bless me today, God. Give me strength. Strengthen me, God, where I'm weak. God, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus, the all-sufficient prophet, priest, and 
king. We ask God that you would take control of my mind, my mouth, my motive, and my movement. But God, somebody need to hear your message today. We ask that you orchestrate your message and give it to the person who need to hear it today. God, we thank you in advance and we praise you in advance for what you're about to do. We ask it all in your son Jesus' name. And those who love God, shout it out real loud. Amen. Duplicating the master copy. Church, when we want to hand out a document to more than one person, we normally make copies. Amen? Amen. But the copies are coming from a master copy. The master copy is laid on the copy machine because it is the original document that has no streaks, that has no dots, that has no blemishes. It's normally perfect. That's why they call it the master copy. And every copy that is duplicated from the master copy should look like the master copy. But if it doesn't look exactly like the master copy, it's a good chance that somebody would throw it in the trash can. Because the goal is to make sure that everything that comes out of the copy machine is a reflection of the master. And church, when I thought about that thing, it hit me that as born-again believers in Jesus Christ, amen, we ought to be a duplicate of the master. We should walk like the master. We should love like the master. We should talk like the master. We should act like the master. And we do, if we don't do it, it makes us look like a bad reflection of the master. How many know our life should be a duplicate of our Father in heaven now? Huh? See, when the world sees us, somebody ought to say, we look like our daddy. Somebody ought to say, our attitude is just like our daddy. Somebody ought to say, our, our, our walk is just like our daddy. Our talk is just like our daddy. Church, I'm talking about duplicating the master copy. So as we come closer to that text, I want to show you what God showed me in this one verse. So as we dissect this one verse, I want to show you what God showed me. Somebody says, show me. Look at the first, look at the first three words of the text. It says, let this mind stop right there. The first thing we see, we see the permission, Sister Young. We see the permission. Somebody said, you got God permission. We see the permission now. And in the permission, we see we have to choose and we have to change. Touch your neighbor said, you got to change. In the permission, we see we have to choose we have a choice, I'm sorry, we have a choice, we have to choose, and we have to what? Change. Now, in order to become a duplicate of the master, we need to permit it to happen. I said, you have to permit it to happen. Now, the text says, let this mind. The word let means to grant permission to allow or to cause. The use of the word let shows that we can either choose to or choose not to. Touch your neighbor and say, you have to make the right, you have to make the right choice. Church, we can choose to be happy and we can choose to be sad. We can choose to smile or we can choose to be mad. But no one can really make us mad without our own permission. Huh? See, we got to give folks permission to make us mad. See, the enemy will try everything to make you upset. But you got to tell that no good devil, I still got joy. May feel uncomfortable sometimes, but I still got joy. I feel lonely sometimes, but I still got joy. May get mad sometimes, but I still got joy. Man, I have all my blessing right now, but I still got joy. Why, Pastor? Well, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. So the word, so the word let shows us we have a choice. But watch this. Look at the next two words. It says this mind. Touch your neighbor and say, your mind is a terrible thing to waste. You see, in, the, in this context, the word mind, Sister Fletcher, means attitude. In other words, we need to allow our attitude to be changed. Touch your neighbor and say, you got to change your attitude. Church, nothing changes in our lives unless we change our mind, change our attitude, and change the way we think. See, in Proverbs 23, 7, it says, so as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But he's not talking about the, this organ heart. He's talking he, he about your mind because your, your heart has no thinking capacity. It comes right here. See, it's how do you think. Touch your neighbor and say, what's on your mind? Listen to Paul. Listen to Paul. He said, let this mind. In other words, give up your own mind and take on his mind. 
Paul is talking about transformation, a spiritual mutation. See, if you keep doing the same old thing, thinking to get a different result, that's a definition of insanity. Touch your neighbor and say, are you crazy? <laughs> See, people want something different, but they keep doing the same old thing over and over again. That's the reason why you're sad. That's the reason why you're mad. But when you begin to take on the mind of Christ, yeah, 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 yeah. He says, there is the permission. But look at my second point. We see it's personal. Somebody said this thing personal. This thing's personal now. Look, 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 look closely. It's because it's personal. We, we see it's continual and it's internal. And because it's personal, Buchanan, we see that it's continual and it's internal. Look, look, look closely, Sister Webb. It said, let this mind be in you. Stop right there. Be in you. Look how Paul let us know that it's personal now. James, it says be. The word be here means to live or exist. The text is telling us to live continuously now. Not off and on, but continuously now. Be. Somebody say be. Deacon Edith said it. He said be what you are. In other words, live out your calling. If you're going to be a Christian, you got to be a Christian now. Be the change you want to see. Be what you want to see now. Paul said it's in you. It doesn't start external, but it starts internal. You see, a glass cannot be filled until it's empty. Y'all missed it. A glass cannot be filled unless it's first empty. You see, if we are already full of ourselves, you have no room for God. And the reason why people can't get happy because they're so full of themselves. They don't want to acknowledge the king that sits on the throne is because they are sitting on their own throne. The change must takes place on the inside. How, Pastor Webb? On a daily basis, we must make our inner man, our spiritual being, stronger than our outer man, the flesh. Paul puts it this way. Paul said, I die daily. See, you got to put yourself under the submission of the Holy Ghost. Paul didn't lead himself. He was led by the Spirit of God. And when we do this, by renewing our mind with the Word of God, not more word less worry. More word, less whining. Paul said, be in you. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about her. Just look at yourself and get yourself right. So number one, number one, number one, we see the permission. Deal with the shoes and, and the change. Number two, we see it's personal now. It's continual and it's what? Internal. But look at my third point. We go into Sunday school. Point number three, we see the pattern. We see the pattern now. And in the pattern, we have a model and a master. In this pattern, we have a model and we have a master. Look, look closely now. One verse. Look at the last few words of verse five. It says, which was also in Christ Jesus which was also in Christ Jesus, which was also in Christ Jesus, not in your education, not in your money, not in your popularity, not in your job, which was also in Christ Jesus. In these words, we see the pattern we need to aim for. Christ has to become the role model for our lives. Now, there used to be a commercial that says, if I can be like Mike. But if the truth be told, we ought to all want to be like Christ. See, in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, it tells us, be followers of Christ or be imitators of Christ. But being imitators of Christ is more than just coming to church on Sunday morning. I, I said being imitators of Christ is just more than coming to church on Sunday morning. You see, before you can really imitate him, you must first know him for yourself. You see, it's good to come for the fellowship, 
but baby, it's grounded in the relationship. See, the intimacy now, see, the more you get close to Christ, the more you're going to be like Christ. The more you do for Christ, the more you'll look like Christ. And it can't, see, it's just, and we can't be afraid or be ashamed to acknowledge that he's our role model now. Nah? What we do in private should be displayed in public now. Nah? We, can't, we, can't, we can't be passive but be passionate about him. We can't be fake but be faithful to him. See, the reason we imitate him is to bring him the glory. You see, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 7 says, Everyone that, everyone that is called by my name, I have created for my glory. Church, if we're going to call ourselves Christians, which come from the word Christ, then we must give him glory. How many know we were created for his glory? We were created for his glory. So if we were created for his glory, then we ought to want to give God glory. Come on, talk to me, somebody. If we were truly created for his glory, then we should have no problem giving God's glory. But one of the reasons people can't give God glory is because they don't really know the story now. See, they don't know what he did some 2,000 years ago, how he suffered, bled, and died, how he died on the cross for my sins and your sins. But that's not how the story ends. Josh said early on Sunday morning, he got up with our power in his hand, church. How many know he is our role model? So when we know the story, it should make us want to give him the glory. When we know the story, it ought to make him want to give him the glory. But wait a minute, somebody. Don't be deceived. The Lord don't really need our glory now. He's pleased that we give him glory. But if you're too cute to give him glory, if you too full of yourself to give him glory, if you too tired to give him glory, if you too prideful to give him glory, if you think you're all of that to give him glory, God really don't need you. He got glory all by himself. He got glory on his right. He got glory on his left. He got glory in the front. He got glory on the back. He got glory all around him. The trees sway to his glory. The fish swim to his glory. The birds fly to his glory. The kangaroo hop to his glory. The ants crawl to his glory. The gazelles run to his glory. Somebody shout.